Welcome, welcome, my beautiful Virgos. I'm Brenda, Brenda Tarot, and I'm here again today to bring you your general tarot and oracle card forecast for the week of May the 10th to the 16th. Again, I truly want to thank you for your interest in my channel, for viewing, liking, sharing, and especially subscribing. Always be sure to subscribe if you want to hear or see your favorite YouTube creators out there regularly instead of having to scope them out, search them out, try to find them when you lose them along the way. This is a way of when you click the bell and make it ring when you subscribe that you get notified immediately when any of your favorite YouTube creators have put anything out here that you're interested in watching. Now, as I said, this is a general reading and that means that not every single card or the energy they carry may resonate with every single Virgo on the planet, but take what you can from it and throw the rest out into the universe to those that it does resonate with. Okay, let's see what we have here for our week. My beautiful, beautiful Virgos. Your all over energy card, and this came up for someone else as well, is unexpected visitors. So um, this is basically saying expect the unexpected this week and that could be in the form of somebody that shows up out of the blue somebody comes in they could be somebody that's coming in to help and assist you with something it could be somebody new coming in in the form of love attention and affection as well a new a new romantic interest but again this means expect the unexpected so if you've been doing making plans and you know all of a sudden you get this surprise there's a shift in energy you know there's a detour something stops all of a sudden know that it was synchronized and looking back hindsight you're going to realize that it was meant to happen so i would think that you know you need to accept what is and don't fight the way things are going okay nothing can come as a shock right now all right expect the unexpected and then you won't feel that something happened so just go with the flow this week don't get all bent out of shape if your plans start to change or different energy uh, comes into this week that has to make you do that but you could be meeting somebody new which is beautiful and look what you've got you've got new love right a new person has you know stirred your romantic feelings so i sorry about the focus there i don't know why this camera's doing that but anyhow i just bought a brand new camera too so anyway there could be a new love coming into you this is beautiful for some of you again expect the unexpected it could be a random meeting you could be getting a phone call it could be somebody you meet out there in in the cyber world uh, but know that somebody new is going to be coming in and it's beautiful it's almost as though you've been wanting something new to come in and all of a sudden they show up now they could be very different from your expectations uh, that you you know may have thought that you would be interested in but be open-minded and again expect the unexpected there's always a reason why the universe connects us with people like that we go hmm yeah right but then when we're when we take the time to pay attention to who they are we start to see the dots connect so I think you're going to be meeting somebody new they may be different from what you normally would think you would be connected with but stay open-minded what do you need to surrender to you need to surrender to the attachment to results the formula for success is to do all you can do and make things happen then let it go okay let go of the results holding on too tightly to a desired outcome can sabotage you so in other words don't over obsess overthink over worry about situations that might not be happening quick enough for you uh, and don't be concerned about it that's what this is all about surrendering to that letting that go letting any uh, any tension go that you know in a situation that you think isn't working out the way you want it to work out uh, or you know isn't happening fast enough for you so I wouldn't worry about things this week I think you need to just uh, sit back enjoy the way things are right now and let it flow naturally you know again expect the unexpected now you've got chop chopped wood and chopped wood has to do with getting all those little menial jobs done okay um, you know you might be looking at the big picture but in order to get there you've got stepping stones to go on you've got to build these blocks you've got to you know you've got to chop that wood stack it up and you know now you're prepared for the major snowstorm that you can handle so this is about taking care of business taking care of all the little details that you need to do and then you're gonna you're gonna be prepared to, to, to if anything unexpected shows up you're ready for it so a great uh, I think a great theme here working this week starting off right now with the all over energy is that 
exactly that uh, expect the unexpected but you're going to be prepared for it when it comes in and uh, so and don't obsess about it okay just accept it now coming in with your crowning energy with your tarot reading you have the knight of swords and something suddenly is going to come in that's going to make you have to stop procrastinating and go for it it could be uh, something important legal that you have been called in mediation or perhaps some offers come in on the table that you need to uh, you know look over sign and it could be legal documentation but it says you can't sit back you have to act on it but you have to be cautious because you don't want to accept the first offer or not read between the lines sign on something that you've that's legal and binding so be careful what you sign on and any purchases this week uh, that you're making or any things you're accepting on a legal basis coming in uh, behind you you have the three of wands and the three of wands is the energy that says you're watching for things to come in your ship to come in you've made your mark on the world and now you're waiting to see all that work that you've applied to something what's going to happen how have they received it what's you know and you're and you're waiting um right now be patient okay this is all about uh waiting to be patient here and knowing that what you've done is right Okay, so, you know, you've laid those stepping stones, as I said, you've made those plans, you've chopped that wood, as I said, and this is for success in business, maybe something like that, but you're going to be able to feel the, the accolade of congratulations coming in, and you're going to be able to celebrate some success because you did your work right. Okay, so you need to keep going with the next project, so step back and review what you've done, and then create another blueprint for your future. So just be patient right now, as I said, and wait for this to come in. This could promote your business. Uh, that with the talents that you've you've applied what you've put out there so uh, it's just a waiting game right now queen of swords getting rid of what no longer serves her uh, I think that some of you will be cleaning house maybe literally others I think you're going to be just getting rid of that energy around you that has held you back and whether it's a person a relationship whether it's just you know the way your lifestyle is right now the energy around you you're going to start uh, getting rid of things that don't help promote you going forward in a successful way she's also often referred to as a queen that is single solo whether she's divorced or she's um, or she's uh, widowed she's always referred to as being a solo woman strong and able to go forward towards her goals by herself without the assistance of others but she she's done that with knowing what's right for her and I think you're making these decisions yourself Virgo making those uh, constructive and uh, you know intelligent decisions that are meant to help you help you grow uh, and not letting things hold you back anymore walking away from that wiping your hands clean of it you you knew here you have the high priestess below this queen of swords and it's as though you knew something was going to happen um, so I don't think the unexpected has surprised you um, I think that you knew innately in your own intuitive uh, you know ability that uh, things were going to happen in your life and you were able to look behind the veil the smoke and mirrors and see the truth and that's what she does she doesn't if she thinks that something's going to happen or she needs to know information she's able to do that and i think you've done that too and you've cleared house here now you're ready to move forward in your new direction six of cups coming in and the and the energy that could be around you right now is again uh, you know this could be connecting with somebody from a distance it could be somebody coming in from the fr that you that has been distant to you returning uh, this could be dealing with children entertaining having children teaching children mentoring children being around children and also know that um, I think you're very loyal I think uh, you have this ability to impart that with other people but whoever's coming back or you're reconnecting connecting with or you're connecting with I think they're they're in your end of the ring I think they're going to be loyal I think you've been very comfortable uh, no matter what they've been understanding and I think you're going to see that element of energy start to surface with this reconnection or new connection um, I think you need to tap into your inner child and enjoy this and have some fun the chariot absolutely beautiful um you could have been faced with a battle um some sort of uh, battle that you had to go into the ring and fight um but i think you know it was more of a challenge it was more of a competition it was more of you know promoting yourself and proving what you were capable of and at the end of the day you come out the champion so whatever accomplishment you've just made that was very hard for you to do you need to commend yourself for that pat yourself on the back i think you're going to be getting recognized by other people for what you've done but you definitely this is a card that says you're coming out ahead you're a winner my friends 
coming in towards you, the Eight of Wands, that's a lot of action, a lot of attention. Like I said, you could be getting a lot of mail, a lot of emails, something coming in uh, very quickly uh, that's going to change the energy around you and you're going to get moving. And I think you're going to have a lot on your plate to handle, but you're capable of it. I think you're going to look at this situation as, yeah, I'm going to get down and I'm going to get busy. I've won the battle and now I'm moving forward. You could have won a legal situation in court as well. So I think you're making your mark on the world. You've made the choices and decisions here. You've done all the work. You've done all this chop wood, you know, brick by brick log by log work, the menial tasks to build yourself up here. Now, the king of the knight, pardon me, the knight of pentacles is slower moving energy, very contradictory. I think you're going to see the shift, but the reason that things are working out and all of a sudden now you can go forward is because you planned it. You made a detailed plan. You didn't rush in and do anything careless. Uh, you read between the lines. You did the little work. You did all those little jobs to build those blocks towards a good foundation. And that's why things are shifting now for you to see success. Ten of Cups, happy ever after. Absolutely. One of the best cards in the deck. Uh, definitely you're going to see the shift of abundance coming into you. Being able to know that things are working out in your favor. Uh, you know, abundance and financial security are coming into you. You've established that lasting foundation of success. And chances are it could have been in business as well. But, the, you know, the Cups, the water cards talk about also happy, happy life when it comes to your home life, to relationships are the people around you that you care for you know a happy marriage a positive relationship with children security financially and being able to take care of family matters in a successful way so I think you're going to find contentment and reward here coming into you uh, and know that your needs are being met emotionally and and uh, material wise so you know relationship with your family and friends are going to be good you're going to have peace and joy and I see that unconditional love is going to be surrounding you this week so this is fantastic Fantastic. Let's see what we have here, Virgo, for our for our clarification cards. What has Spirit got? So, Spirit, please show them what they need to see, what they need to know, and what they need to expect here with the clarification cards that you are sending them. Thank you. Okay, here we go with our Knight of Swords. Again, you have the Eight of Wands. So um, sometimes the Eight of Wands in uh, days gone by, many years gone by, was referred to as Cupid's Arrow. So something coming in, something that you know you didn't expect, but maybe you had wished would come in. A change of energy, acting fast. I did say that this was fast acting night here, that you needed to be careful though when you read between the lines. And again, could have to do with messages coming in, email, you know, written letters, whatever, that may need your requirement uh, to uh, cautiously sign things that are going to help you. Ten of nine of cups, making a wish. So you're waiting for your ship to come in. You've made that wish. You're pretty much there because the 10 has shown up. Beautiful. And our queen of swords you had a hard battle to fight here you pushed forward I think you felt at times that you were pushing and doing all the work yourself you had no help uh, you felt solo you felt that you were alone doing it and with this queen I do believe that's the energy you you were feeling but when the tens show up my beautiful friends it's over you now have lightened your load you don't have that burden anymore to push carry that dead weight you were carrying or pushing dead weight uphill it's done and you've decided that you got rid of that and you're moving on you know moving on up my friends now the queen the high priestess you have the queen of pentacles beautiful card giving birth to your dreams nurturing what it is you want watching it grow planting those seeds absolutely beautiful i think you're going to be able to see this growth coming into you emotionally in your relationships and in your finances beautiful card here this is great now coming in with the six of cups look what you got the two of cups definitely you're reconnecting with somebody or somebody new coming in and we talked about a new love didn't we so the two of cups talks about that being able to move forward with another energy partnership here getting together with somebody who wants to be part of your life and you know this is can have to do with romance when this shows up here and perfect that it showed up on the six of cups you know dealing or, or connecting with someone from your past it's returning or connecting with someone at a distance so 
It could be a beautiful engagement. It could be getting together with long lost friends, kindred spirits, and you could be receiving an unexpected gift here, but definitely sharing these beautiful ideas together. And our chariot card, you have the justice. Justice is going to be served. This is why you won this. Okay, uh, it could have had to do with this legal issue that you were signing, maybe some of you, but know that the hard battle you fought, you won it. Justice is served and it's waived in your favor. Yes. And we have the Ace of Pentacles on this fast moving Eight of Wands. Beautiful, beautiful card that says you're going to be able to see abundance coming into you here. Now, finally, finally, I love it. Significant abundance is coming towards you. It's also the card of improving health. Uh, you're going to be able to move forward now. Maybe you've had, you've been held down and held back. Uh, you know, things weren't moving quickly enough for you, but the healing element is now taking place. So know that there's going to be some excellent luck coming in with this information you're receiving coming in with our knight of pentacles you have the king of cups so somebody might have been giving you advice could be a water sign it could have been a pisces cancer or scorpio that came forward out of the goodness of their heart they said hey let's make a plan together here i can help you with this don't go rushing in take all the time you need to heal or plan the move you're going to make this person is very trustworthy whoever this individual is trust them Okay, you could be doing something on a charitable uh, level as well. Coming in with your Ten of Cups, you have the, the Eight of Swords. That's a card of deception. Don't deceive yourself, okay? Uh, you deserve this happiness. But it could also be the energy of someone else who could be coming in because your life is happy and they want to stir the pot. There's always some naysayer out there, right, that doesn't like to see happiness. Could be an ex of yours, an ex-friend, an ex-love that says, you know what? Why do they have to be so happy? They could be sneaking around, spying on you, watching you. Be careful. There could be somebody around you that is doing that. Keep your eyes open. I think you have that ability here because you do have the high priestess and she has that instinctive ability to tap into her intuition when she gets that gut feeling. But you know what? You got something and this person could be unhappy about it. You won justice. You won something here. You're, you're succeeding now. You fought a hard fight and they lost. So um, just keep your eyes open. I don't think this is a card that you need to be worried about but you know what I think this could have been the element of you know they got caught and usually when this comes up it means you know pick your battles wisely and also be careful uh, that someone could be trying to steal or sneak around but they end up at the end of the day they getting caught they get caught so I think you're tapping into that and I don't think that you need to be too worried about it because you know you've got this happy ever after here well, my beautiful, beautiful uh, Virgos, this is your reading for today, and I wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful, optimistic week here to look forward to because it looks good. I know there's challenges here. I know you've made the changes to move forward in a better way. You've had a lot of work on your plate that you had to do to get to this level. Maintain that. Expect the unexpected so you don't get shocked uh, by anything, but I think some of you are going to meet somebody new coming in on a loving level. Others, I think you, you fought a hard battle in, with something maybe in the court or with your business uh, with your job and you won it and I think you're going to see things change you made your wish and I think your wishes are coming true so it's a beautiful week and remember the universe is not happening to you the universe is reacting to you so what you throw out there what you apply what you invest into is going to come back so make it positive and the universe and the divine, your higher power, always wants to see you succeed and find your happiness and peace. So don't fight it. Surrender to it and move forward towards your goals and happiness. Blessings, my beautiful souls, and know that I always and only stand in this circle of love and light for you. Let's all play safe, stay safe, and be safe. And then we can all see each other very soon. Mm -hmm.